Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. We are now getting very much closer to the end of July of 2023. And given that there's a lot of things going on right now over at Disney, and it's not looking good, by the way, for the rest of 2023 and everything happening between Bob Iger, the board, as well as what the shareholders think about the entire Disney situation. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly what's going on with the Disney purge and why it's getting worse behind closed doors. Now, you guys may or may not be aware, but Bob Iger's cost containment plan is only creating more difficult issues essentially for everything Marvel, Star Wars, and just Disney in general. And it's not looking good for 2024 either. Now we know that Bob Iger is probably, in my opinion, the worst CEO of all time. I really do believe that, at least in the Hollywood realm of the cinematic side of things, as well as theme parks. I think that he is somebody that needs to be replaced ASAP. I mean, this is exactly why a lot of people knew that when he returned after Bob Chapek, that things were only going to get worse, right? And I'm not defending Bob Chapek fully. I mean, he had a lot of faults of his own. He had a lot of mishaps with the theme parks as well. But at the same exact time, the Battle of the Bobs, as a lot of people like myself like to call it, was always an ongoing issue. They all had their problems. Now, when you're looking at everything related to the Disney situation and what Iger is actually planning to do with this Disney purge, things are only getting worse. So let's discuss. Now, right now, Bob Iger is currently going through a phase of panic after holding multiple emergency meetings throughout the month of July between himself and the board. However, one major development revolving around Iger right now is that he recently got himself into major trouble with the Disney board members, at least some of them, and shareholders are reportedly very unhappy with the actions of Iger with the Disney purge. Now, Bob Iger's strategy right now is to fire thousands of more Disney employees by the end of 2023 leading into next year as the first phase. This will range from the parks, cast and crew of movies and television, as well as the corporate ladder, will suffer losses as well. Additionally, many Marvel movies and shows will be cancelled, as well as Star Wars related content, many of which, by the way, have not been announced as of yet, officially speaking. However, some of the announced titles for both Star Wars and Marvel are also gearing up for cancellation to shorten and focus on smaller slates and roadmaps for both franchises. This is also due in part to the Snow White backlash, where Disney is reportedly now delaying on, of course, and backing off on Disney remakes for a little while by, listen, uh, by actually lessening that down to only a handful of films to be transitioned then, of course, into their earlier plans of animated into live action. So guys, let me just say one thing here about this real quick before I get to the next piece is that... The fact that they are backing off a little bit as well on the Disney live action remakes, it goes to show you that Disney is beginning to panic. They are beginning to realize that they completely messed up with The Little Mermaid. They absolutely messed up with Snow White 2024. And you know what? I mean, as Jason Acuna said, he's also known as Wee Man, by the way, who spoke up for people with dwarfism, that they literally should and the right thing to do is to remake that movie, take a whole year off, once the writer's strike is over and everything with SAG, take the time off, rewrite the movie, refilm the whole thing, and just portray the dwarfs that they should be portrayed as. Now, when we look at stuff like this too, this is also impacting Marvel, Star Wars, and everything around the like. And it really makes you wonder, will this Ray movie get cancelled? Something that nobody really asked for, and something that I myself believe is going to be the worst comeback for Star Wars movies. Ever since The Rise of Skywalker, the first movie that they chose to actually go back to is a Ray movie. That's probably the worst marketing decision that they could go with, the worst strategy. If anything, they should approach an original Star Wars film as, you know, the new movie for 2026 now. However, moving onwards, we also know that Bob Iger is a lying individual. He always lies. 
He always really kind of downplays specific problems over at Disney and makes it like there's no issues going on behind the scenes. He did this like last week too when he was being interviewed on the spot and on camera where he has no concerns at all about the streaming models, about anything related to ESPN or anything related to, of course, everything Star Wars and Marvel. They just have to take a step back is all they have to do. But anyway, all right, it gets worse. Iger was said to have gotten into heated arguments with some members of the board that were against these plans for the Disney purge that is going to happen quite rapidly throughout 24, leading for a tougher year for 2025. The writer's strike and everything happening with SAG as well is not helping either, and could potentially make the purge even worse than Iger plans right now if it persists into the fall. Now, this is all set to lead into a financial disaster with shareholders, of course, that are very much on edge about. Even many members of the board have been trying to convince others on there to avert these plans, but the majority feel that there is no other way and that this is the point of no return. That cutting content and firing employees is a must right now for Disney to stabilize for the next two whole years. Iger is getting ready to actually make a big statement again about these firings by the fall of this year. Now, that's most likely going to be during their earnings call and whatnot about the cutbacks. Now, I will say this, and we talked about this about five days ago, guys, is that the board has a plan to fire Iger. They're giving him the benefit of the doubt right now, but if Haunted Mansion, which by the way comes out on the 28th, if the Marvels, Wish, and Snow White on top of that all fail the box office, they want to get rid of Iger by April of 2024. That's the plan right now. And you know what? That's way too long in my opinion. He should be fired right now at the snap of a finger. Immediately. Because I think that by keeping him on, you are doing way too much damage. You are doing more damage that's going to be irreversible no matter what CEO you get on there. And I've said this many, many times that I still don't believe a new CEO is going to fix the problem, unless it's somebody that really has no agendas or anything like that. The root of the issue here is many people on the board, not all of them, but many of them. And if you really want to go even deeper, some of the shareholders are technically, you know, held accountable for this too, because they aren't really, you know, asking questions directly so fast. I mean, they are worried about Disney right now, but some of the shareholders obviously are, par are a part of the problem, as we have discussed before in the past. The top shareholders, specifically, of course. Now, honestly, I think that Disney is just digging themselves into a deeper hole. The real answer is to just make content with no nonsense, no agendas that are just pure entertainment and follow the source material or follow originality. And that's all you need, you know, then you're golden. So guys, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time.